the RabbitMQ stream is the new great feature that uh, we added in RabbitMQ 3.9. Is a new kind of the queue that is totally different from the classic queues and the quorum queues. Uh, is an up and only uh, stream queue, so it means that we only and uh, messages. We don't late the messages when we consume the messages, uh, and is good for large fan out. So we using just one stream, you can have um, hundred of the consumers pointed on the same stream. Uh, you can have a very high, high throughput uh, thanks to the new custom protocol. And you can reply and time travel the, the streaming more than one time as you prefer. And thanks to retention policies, uh, you can decide for how long you want to take your data. Based, I don't know, for sites maybe after 10 giga you want to delete the old data or maybe after time or i don't know it's up to to you the uh, what we suggest is always to set up our retention because at some point you reach the the, the end of the, the the disk billions of messages are normal and yeah. streams are expected to grow to the maximum size they're allowed to grow so don't be surprised when a stream uses 100 gigabytes, if you can figure it to use that much, because that's how it's supposed to work. And it's supposed to have, again, billions of messages, depending on, depending on the message size. And you can also use them through the NQP.91 protocol. So you don't have to use the new stream protocol, but if you want the speed, if you want some of the advantages, especially speed, the high throughput, you will want to use the stream protocol. So uh, you can follow this blog post to use the Docker image uh, and start up with your Docker image. And here we, uh, at the moment, we have two clients, the f uh, two clients that are using the custom protocol. The first one, the official one is Java. And the second one that is for still work in progress that more or less works is the Go client. So we are going to produce messages with the Go and consume messages with Java. Let's see, uh, the, this is the interface, the new interface with the stream plugin. This is new. Uh, let's start with the Go. Let's start with the Go client. Here we are going to stop the environment. So it's like the MQP, you are going to use the uh, EP and the port. The new port is this one for Plane traffic is five 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 two and one with TLS. And so uh, here we are going to create a stream, just a stream, and we decide to have our retention of two gigabytes. Then we ask our producer for the the stream, and so that's it. This uh, uh, both in Java and Go, this is just a, a send. But internally, it, it does a lot of things, decide to aggregate the messages, split the messages if the, uh, the buffer size is too big and stuff like that. Everything is automatic. The user uh, does not care about uh, that. So let's start. Getting start. So 10,000 messages in 27 milliseconds. Can you believe? Yes, this one already, it's ready. That's it. Too fast. I don't think it happens. Yeah. It's too fast. We have to it's slow up. this down. Can you yeah, do, yeah, yeah. I know, okay. can you do like a million messages? So let's start with one million of the, the messages. So five seconds. Actually, it's too much. <laughs> and here we go. One million of messages. Wow. In five seconds on a developing machine, which does a lot of other things. That's not bad. Now, uh, let's see uh, the Java consumer. Here, uh, as you can see, the interface are more or less the same. We try to to have the more or less the same interface. Of course, maybe there is some difference that is related to the language. Java is totally different from Go, but more or less we are using the same uh, the same interface. Here we are connected to the localhost. Uh, we don't need to define the stream again because we already have the stream. We are going to consume the, the messages here 
Okay, we define a consumer, consumer based on the stream. We uh, want to start for first, it means that we start traveling all the, uh, the stream for the, the beginning and we print out the result. Let's see what happens. So, okay, now we are printing a lot of messages. Let's see. So you can find the, our uh, clients in the RabbitMQ uh, GitHub repository. Stream Go client. You can go, this is the Go stream, uh, Go stream client. As you can see, it's still in alpha. And here you can see uh, JavaStream client. That is the official one for both of the Java and Go, there are Docker image ready that you can use to do some tests without write any code. Which brings us back to the blog post. And I think the blog post, that's exactly what it describes. How to yeah. test this without writing any code. And Gabriela showed you how you can use the Go client to do the publishing part. And by the way, this is in the repository that you showed on RabbitMQ, RabbitMQ stream Go client. And he also used the Java client to consume the same messages. Again, the code is in the repository, RabbitMQ stream Java client. Yeah, there are a few examples already. Just download it and uh, execute it. Let us know. Enjoy.